I needed to drill holes for the tuning pegs to fit in, so I first positioned the nut on the centre of the neck and then marked up lines level with each string slot using a combination square. Next I marked up where each tuner would go, making sure that they were equally spaced from one another and that there was enough space for each tuner. I used an ice pick to centre punch each hole. The shaft of the tune is measured just over 10mm. I drilled a 2mm pilot hole before drilling with a 10mm drill bit. The pilot holes were just to help centre the 10mm bit. Then I installed one tuner to test fit, made a mark 10mm from the edge of the first and the last holes, and then joined the two marks up with a line, which I could then cut out on the bandsaw. I straightened up this cut on the belt sander, and then did a bit of rounding and shaping of the headstock. Next I cut an off cut of oak to glue onto the bottom of the headstock to make it wider. I applied glue, wrapped it in masking tape and then clamped it. The masking tape helped to stop the pieces slipping on the glue so that I could apply a decent amount of clamping pressure. Once the glue had dried I could then shape the headstock on the bandsaw and on the belt sander. I ended up opting to go with a shape similar to a jumbo fender style headstock. I kept making a few alterations until I was happy with the shape. Then I gave the whole neck a good sanding with 120 grit paper rounding over the corners too to soften the edges. Next I shaped the end of the neck where it would meet the body using the bandsaw and a hand plane to get the surface perfectly straight. I made a mark all the way around the neck to indicate where it would be inserted inside the guitar body. I'd used Sapili to make the fretboard. This piece was left over from the ukulele build. I first ripped two slices to 15mm on the table saw. I did this in multiple passes to go easy on the blade as it's a hardwood. I jointed one face of both pieces until they were perfectly flat and then thickness planed them to about 12mm. Then I jointed one side of each of the pieces and I could then glue and clamp the pieces together. With the glue dry, I jointed one side and then ran it through the thicknesser again. The fretboard by this point was about 9mm thick. Then I could rip it to 57mm wide on the table saw 
The fretboard would need to be 55mm at its widest where it meets the body, so I left a couple of extra millimetres to play with. I bought these pre-cut pieces of fret wire on eBay. These had a slight radius to them, like any electric guitar fretboard should have, and I needed to figure out a way of radiusing my fretboard to roughly match the curvature of the frets. I'd seen real guitar makers on YouTube using something called a radius block, which is used to sand the fretboard to the right shape, and I'm too cheap to buy one of those, so I figured I'd need to try and create one. With the fret sitting on the straight fretboard, there was a gap which was about 1mm in the very centre. I tilted my table saw to about 7 degrees and cut two slices. Getting two strips exactly the same size was quite a challenge, but I just kept trying until I had two that were a good match. I had a scrap of 3x2s, and I straightened out one face of this with the hand plane, and checked it for straightness with a steel ruler. Then I ripped the 3x2 to 57mm on the table saw, the same width as the fretboard. I applied hot glue and stuck the two small strips to the straight face of the 3x2, with the widest edges of the strips facing outwards and the narrowest facing inwards. I did a bit of sanding with a piece of sandpaper wrapped around a circular piece of wood just to try and contour it a bit more to a nice rounded shape. Then I chopped it to length on the mitre saw. Next I hot glued some 80 grit sandpaper onto it and trimmed the edges off with a knife. And that was my makeshift radius block complete. I hot glued the fretboard to my table saw and started sanding away. I soon realised that 80 grit paper wasn't quite man enough for the task. The sandpaper was getting too clogged up, so I ended up gluing some 40 grit paper right over the top of the 80 grit. That worked out much better, removing much more material. I made some marks with a sharpie and then kept sanding away so that I could keep track of where I was taking off material. Eventually I was left with a shape that looked pretty good. So I held one of the frets against it, and it was working okay, but there was a high point in the very centre. So I hot glued a strip of some more sandpaper to the centre of the radius block, and did some more sanding. And then it was actually a surprisingly good match. Not perfect, but it was never really going to be, but certainly good enough for me. I tested the shape along the length of the fretboard and made a few more light sanding adjustments to get it as good as I possibly could. Finally I did some sanding with a 120 grit paper and I was left with a fretboard about 7.5mm thick in the very centre. 